Good afternoon. Yep, I missed morning. So, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever it happens to be for you. Check out what I got at the local consignment shop, and it's from Kohl's. It still has the original sticker, 20 bucks on the bottom. I got it for six. And look at this great little centerpiece decorating idea with the solar lights for when you're having an outdoor barbecue. Or you can put them in the vases that I got yesterday. So I've pulled them all out, you know, pulled out the little thing. Luckily, the stickers that were on these, if you saw my haul, um, if not, there'll be a link below. Or over here, if you see the information button, click on it once and it'll show you uh, related videos that I have popped in here. So I've, luckily, the stickers on these were not ob obnoxious and they came off really nicely. And then the other thing I got at the consignment shop is this little bowl for four bucks. So, yeah my big shopping haul and I'm gonna go give the dog some treats because we went had used one of our C save CT now coupons at Little Mark's Big Barbecue which I'll show you what I had next so I've been asked to give a review of these uh, Camellio's pizza crusts so I have two of them they bake in seven minutes and I have all pre-made toppings this is the onion jam and mushrooms from the other night when I made dinner. Part skin mozzarella, some of the Francesca Rinaldi pizza sauce, and Hormel pepperoni. So I'm going to make a couple of pizzas for us for appetizers. They're the small ones. If you had a big salad, they could totally be a dinner or a lovely lunch. So let me assemble and I have a pizza pan and my oven's preheated for 25. Well, there's our cute little pizzas and into the oven they go. The only thing I did is I brushed a little bit of olive oil on the outside crust. Uh, three tablespoons on each of the sauce, uh, pizza sauce. Uh, three of these giant pepperonis, which there's plenty, I think, for at least two more pizzas. Or uh, a treat for a dog. Uh, some of the onion jam and sautéed mushrooms and uh, the skim, part skim mozzarella cheese. So they're gonna go in, I'm gonna check them in about six minutes, it should be about seven, between seven and ten minutes. Since I already have the stove on, I'm gonna pop in this bag, 99 cent bag of peppers, which are, these are cubanelles. I'm going to roast them, peel the skins, and then marinate them with olive oil, vinegar, and garlic. Yummy for sandwiches or to put into pasta salad. And there they are out of the oven. Seven minutes, seven and a half minutes about. They look yummy. I'm gonna let them cool just ever so slightly so um, somebody doesn't burn their tongue when they taste it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go get my pizza cutter, a couple of plates and napkins, maybe a couple of ginger ales or root beers, and uh, we'll have an appetizer. So I gave Polly his. Is it too hot to eat? <laughs> it's crispy like you like it. It's not a thick crust. Certainly it's quick seven minutes for a meal. Not bad. So thumbs up. Thumbs up for these two little pizza um, shells and the Francesca Rinaldi pizza sauce. And the uh, giant pepperoni on top. <laughs> the rest is our stuff. So, that came with it? well, I, I got all three of those at Dollar Tree. Oh. The pizza paint, the pizza crusts, which come two to a pack, so fifty cents each. The pizza sauce and the pepperoni. The cheese, mushrooms, and onions are ours. Not bad. No. So two thumbs. Well, thumbs up. I'm gonna taste mine and I'll t let you know what I think. Those roasted peppers have been skinned. I'm going to pop them in the fridge and I'll marinate them tomorrow. I'm going to make some soup. We ended up just having pizza for dinner. That was perfect amount. So I'm going to make turkey and color green soup with asparagus and maybe corn. I don't know. I'll see what I have in the freezer. <laughs> All right, I've got lots of veggies to prep, so I have um, color greens. I'm going to cut out the stemmy center that's going to go to the chickens. And then I'm going to chiffonade the leaves and throw them in my 
salad spinner to wash them well. Then I'm going to prep the asparagus, carrots, celery, and lots of herbs. And some. I think I'll finish with scallions tomorrow. But again, Polly's already gone off to bed. This is. I'm just prepping for tomorrow. And then once the soup is done, I'm going to put the chicken, the dog's chicken, to dehydrate. And that's going to be it for me. But I'll show you what this looks like all de-stemmed, which I'm going to use a pair of scissors, kitchen shears, and chiffonaded and rinsed. All cleaned up. Now I'm going to, I even chiffonaded it. Now I'm going to rinse it and spin it, and it's going to go into the soup. I'm going to let this cook low and slow, then I'll add the carrots and the celery, and asparagus probably in last, and then I'll also shred some of the... Um, white turkey meat. There's the stock all simmering. I have the colored greens all spun clean. It's gonna look like a lot, but it wilts down pretty quickly. It's greens. But boy, is it gonna be delicious! And whenever I add greens, I usually add in hot sauce. <laughs> so that will be probably as I taste the stock because I did add a little spiciness to the stock when I made the turkey stock. So now I'm going to prep the rest of the vegetables. I've added carrots, celery, parsley, dill. I'm going to go grab some garlic from the fridge and cut into little thin slices. It'll get nutty in here and then I'll shred up the meat. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water too. Everything's in the pool, in the hot tub. It's turkey, asparag asparagus, color greens, green, um, carrots, celery, uh, garlic. And I left onion out because I had a lot of onion in the stock. I'm going to finish it off with scallions when we go to eat it. So I'm going to let it simmer on low for about a uh, half hour and then check the flavors. I've turned off the soup. I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to pop it in the fridge or the mudroom. It's 33 degrees outside, so still chilly enough outside. I have the dog's chicken treats ready to go. I'm going to pop that in and it'll be ready by morning. And now I'm going to be calling it a night. So that's it for us for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping us company. We'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, don't forget the, the thumbs up and the information button. Check it out. There's some cool stuff there. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone.